Exactly. Or would it be maggots? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they knew it was addictive, damn it. They knew it. Oh. Kidding. So that has been your tale of jazz and mayhem. And lesbians. And Jews. Oh my gosh. Scandalous. Yeah, I guess for the time period it was scandalous. Yeah, and isn't that crazy that those people were more worried about their position and perception with the public, it seems, than actually figuring out what happened to their uh, their son. Right. That's pretty wild, right? It's interesting. But, I mean, that was a big deal back then. You know, your name, your, you know, when you're just a prominent family in the South, even maybe more so because of uh, Southern culture and, you know, all being, how, how, are, how are people perceiving us, our neighbors? Oh, yeah, reputation. Like oh, my gosh. Meant a lot. Yeah, and your word and your reputation reputation was uh, everything, right? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like today where there's paparazzi and tabloids and news headlines. Social media. All over the grocery store, right. you know, supermarket line with... No, that was actually... In Touch magazine and whatever. That story was making front page of the main media, which was, you know, maybe newspapers, right? Radio, oh, newspapers. Right, yeah. and. So everybody would be talking about it, right? It's pretty crazy. Well, yeah, it was already scandalous enough that he divorced his wife. Right, there's no telling how many. That he left his wife and daughter. Yeah, moved them out west. To move in with this Broadway actress. Big city. With questionable morals. All this stuff. Strapless dresses everywhere? Oh, my God. Interracial dating? My word. Bisexuality? Oh, yeah, no, that was pretty... That was a pretty big deal back then, I'd say. Yeah. So that's been the story of Libby Holman and Zachary Smith Reynolds. Well, so I guess we'll we'll never know. I'd say everybody involved is dead, right? Yes. So I don't know. Maybe we'll crack this one wide open. <laughs> well, Libby Holman definitely led a life of tragedy. Yeah, but you know she it was it, like marrying Zachary Smith Reynolds just sort of sent her life into a downward spiral yeah it'd probably been best if she had just broke it off with his girl you don't need him yeah he has a kidnapping obsession that's kind of weird that is a little strange well that was a wild story well i just thought it was a good one to share thank you for digging that out of the vault thanks for listening to mountain murders we'll be back soon with more true crime for you